Hi guys, this is Shakil Ahmad and I am here uh, to present a tutorial on statistical learning for those who are not a student of statistics or a programmer. And basically, the statistical software SPSS is designed uh, to analyze statistical data uh, in the field of uh, biological sciences or social sciences or business uh, management sciences and other related fields uh, where uh, the researchers don't know about uh, the programming or other advanced software of statistics or statistical analysis so I will uh, give a series of tutorials on basic application of statistical tools uh, to the uh, data from different fields so we start from uh, data entry uh, so we see uh, how to enter the data in SPSS uh, statistics data editor uh, the window you are uh, watching here is the uh, data editor this has two sub windows uh, one is variable view and the second is data view here you can see your data and here you can see your variable uh, we take uh, an example from uh, education here we are collecting data from students uh, for example, uh, we have uh, four variables, one is student id and student age, student uh, gender and student grade in previous exam so the variable types for our variables are numeric although the variable gender is a qualitative variable we can uh, uh, set it as string also but we can uh, set it on numeric uh, by assigning some values so all the variables has width 8 we can change uh, this width according to the uh, range of the variable and this is decimal points and uh, the decimal point for discrete variable can set to 0 i.e. for uh, gender and grades we set this equal to 0 and for age we set this equal to 1 and this is the label label uh, is basically a detailed description about the variable uh, we can write uh, the, lab the label for student age as age of student and uh, for gender gender of student and So we assign the value for the gender variable as 1 for male and 0 for female and then ok. Uh, similarly uh, we can assign uh, values for grades also uh, such as grade A 1 for grade uh, F this is on ordinal scale so we start the lowest value for the lowest grade and 2 for D 
ری فار سی اینڈ فور فار بی اینڈ فائیو فار So we have five values for the grid variable and there are uh, no missing values we assume that there is no missing value in the data and the column width is uh, taken as 8 as by default it is set to 8 and this is align uh, which means that right align means that uh, you see the values on the right side of the column and left align means you will see the values on the left side of the column and the center means you will see the values on the center of the column and the scale of measurement mayor the scale of measurement is basically uh, the very the type of the variable if you are uh, working with a continuous variable or a variable on uh, uh, ratio scale or interval scale then you set it as scale uh, in this example edge is a scale variable while uh, the grade the gender is at nominal scale as the we can just name the uh, persons according to a, as male or female and the grade variable is on at ordinal scale as there is a there is a categorization uh, as well as there is an ordering or ranking such as uh, grade a is higher than grade b and grade b is higher than grade c and so on so there is a uh, first we categorize the students according to grades and then we can rank the a student according to the grade so this is basically uh, the data structure uh, we discussed all three types of variables nominal variable which is gender and the ordinal variable which is grades and the uh, ratio variable which is age then we enter our data for 10 students one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten these are student ids and the student age are assumed to be 23 years 24 years uh, 30 years for example uh, 25 years 26 years 26 years 27 years 28 years 27 years 26 years and the student gender is entered as 1 1 for male and 0 0 0 for female 1 1 0 0 0 we have four male, males and the remaining six are females and the student grades uh, can be written as A or you can enter as 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, Here it can it is uh, it should be noted that uh, the variable grade uh, is on ordinal scale and we can uh, set it as string variable. Uh, in case of string variable, you see the uh, value uh, the label a, b, c, d instead of one, two, three, four, five uh, in this screen. Similarly for gender if we set it as string then we see a male, male, 
and female 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 and male 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 and female 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 so uh, this is basically data entry in SPSS in next video uh, we see how to record the data and how to analysis the data uh, in case of uh, descriptive analysis and uh, inferential analysis so for more videos subscribe my channel uh, uh, we will see you in next video